Hey everybody, welcome back. It is a fabulous afternoon here in Guangzhou, China. And I do say actually fabulous in, in a non-sarcastic way. The weather is amazing. It's been perfectly blue skies actually all week, which is rather strange since either we have the cloudiness and the rain or we have pollution or we have both. So actually the whole week has been pretty awesome. Uh, Anyways, moving on to the actual coding stuff, uh, we're going to go into some more detail on operators, and we're going to look at the other half of uh, the arithmetic operators, and we're going to look at assignment operators, and how you can kind of combine the assignment with the arithmetic stuff, and you'll see some, some different operators, some things that you've never really seen in math class before. So let's go ahead and create... Uh, a couple variables that we're going to use here. I'm going to say A is uh, 10 and let's say B is 3. Now, uh, an assignment operator is, is really just an equal sign, so you already know what that is. The things on the right go into the things on the left. So if I print A out here, I'll just get 10. But Assignment operators, uh, in programming, there's actually, in Python at least, there's a ton of different things you can do. You can take every single assignment operator and combine it with the equal sign to make a different type of assignment. So let me give you an example here. If I do A is equal to A plus, we'll just say 1 for now. Uh, if I do this, then you should look at this as, well, A is 10. And if A is 10, that means 10 plus 1 is 11. So that means A is now equal to 11. And if I run this, you'll see that I do get 11. Okay? And if I were to print this out before I do this operation up here, I get 10. So it starts off as 10, I add 1 to it, and then I get 11. Now, we can actually do this in a, a different way. So down here, I'm going to do B. And I'm going to say B plus equals 1, and then I'm going to say print B. Okay, so what I get is very similar to here. This starts as 10, adds 1. This starts as 3, adds 1. I get 4. But instead of doing it this way, I've used this plus equals. So this is actually short, uh, shortened code, uh, shorthand for spreading this all out as a equals a plus 1. I could actually now rewrite this as a plus equals 1. And I'll get the same answer. Okay, I'm going to back that up. Oh, all right. Actually, uh, I talked about this earlier because remember Sublime is an unregistered version. So is mine at the moment. Uh, so you just cancel this, goes away, and you keep coding. Uh, that pops up, I don't know, every once in a while. It's pretty rare, actually. Okay, so... Right now, uh, we've got uh, this assignment operator, this plus equal, but we can use any of the arithmetic operators that we talked about earlier and put it in here. So I'm going to do uh, put a 2 here for now, and I'm going to say A equals A times 2. And if I do that, of course, I'm going to get 20. And then down here, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to run this. And you notice that it's multiplying B by 2 and it's multiplying A by 2. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I can do the same thing there. Now I can also, once again, divide. If I do this, it divides both numbers by uh, 2. And, of course, you can subtract here and you get the same thing. So 3 minus 2 and 10 minus 2. Okay, so it's really... The assignment operators is, is here is just really the exact same thing. This is just shorthand for this up here. So it doesn't mean anything different. Uh, in this case, uh, we have just a shorter way of doing this. And sometimes you want to do it this way. Sometimes you want to write it out fully. And actually, it doesn't really matter which one you do. It, it really doesn't. You can do it this way um, or you could do it this way. So if you write out your code like this, sometimes it's more clear. Uh, this way is a little shorter, and depending on who's looking at your code, it might not be as clear. And you just make the decision whenever you're doing this of which way you want to do it. Now, you can do it 
with any of the operators we learned. So you can actually do this, or you can do uh, modulus. Okay, and well, let's modulus it might not be the best. Let's uh, let's I'm gonna up this value a little bit here. Maybe seven would be a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, uh, two goes into ten five times evenly, right? So that gives me zero, so no remainder. But two goes into seven up to six leaves one remainder, so I got my one remainder. And then as I showed you here, it's a second ago. Remember, this one tells you how many times the number goes into it and takes off the remainder. So 2 goes into 7 3 times, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. And there's your answers. All right. So in this case, I mean, that's, uh, that's really, really all you need to know as far as uh, assignment operators. Uh, nothing really too special. Uh, the next set of operators we're going we're gonna to look at are a little more complicated so uh, this video hopefully was pretty easy. Next one, you're going to need to uh, think a little bit harder. All right, uh, we'll see you in the next video then.